everyone welcome back to my channel and I have a gum so yucky Ooh. I'm back in my channel and today I do have a top yep I do and I love my jewelry I got it from www.julianajoysdesigns.com and I will link that um I will put the link below. What am I thinking? Anyway, so um, today I will be showing, as you can see in the title probably by this time, I will show you guys the my um, eyeshadow palette collection. I just do, I just have one disclaimer though. It's nothing that I want to kind of like show off. If you don't like this kind of video, just transfer to a different video. Um, I just want to show like, all collections. Some, I love watching all these collections. Every time somebody would post something like that, it just makes me feel like, oh, I got that and I don't have that or whatsoever. It's just, it's so fun to see how, you know, how collections are. Um, I'm not just only a makeup lover, I'm a collector. So I cannot have, I cannot justify myself enough. But we should not take longer. We should start with my eyeshadow palette collection part one because I believe I'm gonna end up having a part two because um, there's you know I just want to show you like I'm sure a lot of um, youtubers out there already have some of these palettes but you know I just want to share but anyway if you can see here I'm probably gonna move here um, there that's my um, drawers for my palette collections I'm probably gonna start with the blue one and the orange one for today just because you know I kind of got a, quite a bit of collection over there I have much of my um, of my Tarte or a Naked in here and Urban Decay so I'm just gonna start with my Urban Decays um, the first thing that I want to show you guys are these two little ones the basic ones I'm sure everybody remembers this um it is very basic as it says basic and another basic um i gravitate on this a lot when on my regular days i just want to look simple but cute so i have this one i gotta make some space i have like okay whatever and then um the urban decay naked ultimate basics came out in this packaging which is also all matte. I don't know where my um, brush with it went, but it's somewhere around here. But these are the these are the ones that really gravitates. You know, I really gravitate. So these are also um, this is also Urban Decay, which I think I'm gonna let go at some point. It's not much. It's just part of my collection, but I don't really gravitate on this a lot. So I'm probably going to give it away. So, yep, I'm going to separate it here. And then, um, these are the new ones. So that's why it's like on top of the pile. Um, the other one is the Urban Decay After Dark. This is very promising. It looks like this. I haven't really gone into it so much. I haven't used it a lot. But definitely, uh, it, this kind of video gets me into that mood of trying to use a lot of the stuff and really um, appreciate what I've got. So yeah, this one has a very nice color, you know, collection. So I'm going to try that pretty soon. And the next thing from Urban Decay is the Vice Do. I'm sure everybody knows about this. These are the, the limited editions, which I really, really love. You know, I love it. I go crazy every time I hear limited edition. I gotta get it right away. So this is the Urban Decay Vice 2 palette. And this one is the Urban Decay Full Spectrum and I believe I haven't used this at all. Nope. But I'm really excited because spring is coming and I'll be able to use a lot of these colors and 
you know, make some tutorials that can, that we can use. You know, I've never, I'm not the type of person that can be like really wilding out with colors. I'm very always on the safe side, so we'll see if I'll be able to explore on those colors this springtime. Or even not, you know, I mean, it doesn't have to be springtime, but don't you guys hate this like kind of top that when you raise your hand everything goes up again and you just have to pull it down to have that feeling of like daintiness it just suck but anyway the next thing that I have for um, the Urban Decay is the Naked um, I know Naked Urban Decay on the run I believe this was from 2014 it came out 2014 and it did had all the stuff, the eyeshadows, the bronzer, the blush, the mini highlighter on the side that came with uh, perversion and an eyeliner and some liquid gloss. And I really like this. It's a little bulky to say that it's on the go, but you know, why not? You know, it's, it's fun to use when you're like traveling. You have all the basic necessities. necessities. That's an ugly word. Necessities. You have your basic necessities here. So, so okay. <laughs> Everything almost fell down there. But yeah, like what I said, uh, it's nice to bring when you're traveling and you know when you're traveling and you don't need much makeup, especially, you know, a vacation. So this is really good. I like this. The next thing I have is the one that is in this pouch and it is actually the Urban Decay Vice and again the brush is missing. I've, I think I've used this a couple of times but it's something that I want to get in depth into because the colors are, are because the colors are really really amazing so you know and the packaging that's the first thing that sucks me in on every palette and that probably is the reason why I started collecting them because they're just so nice you know um so the next thing Urban Decay I don't think they're very um into the packaging or into that holiday packaging kind of situation that's more of like a tart and a two-faced kind of thing and the next thing, oh, I think everybody knows about all this. You know, this is the originals. I'm not sure because I started collecting my, um, I started YouTube and collecting my makeup on 2014. So, you know, I don't know exactly what else before that was in the market. But yeah, I collected, these are the originals that I know. The three, the three nakeds uh, from um, naked to naked three and then the naked smoky came out which I mean do I need to open this I don't think so right I mean everybody knows exactly what the colors in there but yep yeah, I did I do have it and like what I said it's the OGs and then this one is the smoky and at first I'm not gonna say that it's the not good but it's just it's the hype, you know, people keep talking about it. The colors are amazing. I haven't really explored on this colors a lot. Um, there's only four matte shadows in there, so it kind of gives me a little bit of um, a hard time, but I'm sure I'll get into that if I have the chance to be using it more in depth. And I think I would, because, you know, I would. And the next thing that I was so excited about not too long ago, I got this Moon Dust, and I got this from last year because they are so cute and I love shimmery stuff. Um, especially sometimes I do my freelancing and a lot of girls would love something more shimmery for some kind of like special occasions. Um, very rare are the ones that are very conservative with their colors, but nowadays everybody wants something different. So this would really this kind of helped me a lot to kind of like make it special and that's why I'm really loving it a lot and I actually want to try more of this stuff and so that is all for my Urban Decay is there something I don't have? 
Is there something that I don't have from Urban Decay? If you have any kind of something that you think that I'm missing, please, please, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm, I know that I had some of those, um, I had some of those, uh, um, smoky, the black ones that I used to have. They're not my favorite, so I think I gave it away. Um, yeah, and giving away stuff sometimes gets me in trouble because, I don't know. So the next thing in this drawer is, um, our, our my Tarte collection. Um, so I can get started with this one. This is supposed to have something more. Like, I got this from... I, I'm not sure if it was QVC or um, the other one. What's that? Forget it. But I got this in um, QVC and it, this used to have like two more but somebody smuggled it. <laughs> anyway, somebody smuggled it. So um, this is what I have left. And... I love Tarte, especially on holidays because they come out with amazing, amazing stuff. And I'll probably focus on those holiday collections in a different um, video just because they are really cute and it's more on in-depth kind of um, video. And the next thing that I have is the Style by Harouge. I've been loving this. Um, you know, everybody knows that I'm running... A business and in my business you need to be more like a little bit more not a little bit more you know proper and more professional looking so this and this they smell so good I didn't even notice that hmm, I didn't even notice that they are also chocolate um, scented so I love this colors this says this says um, I am professional so I know this is limited edition. It's not in the market anymore. And, um, but definitely there are a lot of other, um, palettes out there that have similar colors, but I'm so glad I was able to catch up with this because I, I remember I was a little too late of trying to grab that. And the next thing is the most controversial of all of my palettes as of now because, um, this is actually a new one that I had to purchase because um, I thought at first it was a I thought at first it was a limited edition and that freaked me out because somebody kidnapped my original um, palette of this and I was so frustrated because I hate it when I lose my stuff. I take care of my things and they don't they're pricey. I mean, I don't just like steal it from the store. I have to literally buy it and sacrifice some money to have it. So these are really amazing. This collection, I was actually skeptical to grab it at first because I was so into the Bora Bora kind of thing. And I'm like, oh, that is so cute. But you know, those colors are already like in any of my palettes. But when I saw it in in the real life, I'm like, no, I don't think I can pass that. So I got it. So the same thing with the Tartist Pro Glow, but that collection is on my contour collection. So I'm going to stick with the palettes for now. And the next thing that I got is this one. This is really cute. And I know they're, they always come up with something, but sometimes they come out so much like, from one day to the other, it's just so hard to catch up because, you know, I'm a mommy and I have a budget once in a while. So um, it's hard to catch up. But, you know, when I know that something is really, really worth it, then I gravitate on it so much right away. And this is one of those basics colors that you need to have in your life. But I'm not exactly sure if they still have this in the market too. So I got that one. And I think, so, um, I think I made a mistake. I said that I'm going to talk about my other holiday collections, but I had to mix some of them in my collection here in my drawer that I have to use because they've been, like, just sitting around in my, my table, in my display table, and I just felt like I got to use this, babies, you know? And this is a very, um, generous amount of, of um, eyeshadows because you can see they're so much bigger than the usual 
these eyeshadows are like huge. Um, usually they have like at least half of um, this pa uh, this um, shadows here, but these ones are really. You know, I'm not exactly sure. It doesn't say anything much. But the thing is, they don't have names on them. So, but the colors are really promising. I love it. It's something that I would really use all the time. So, or somebody else. And the other stuff that I got from Tarte is also, I have this, I forgot. I do, exactly don't know what to call it. This is the Energy Noir. And same thing, you know, it's kind of similar to the... Uh, style by Harouge, but a little deeper colors, more of the purpley, lilac-y colors. And I have an, uh, originally I have a hazel brown eyes, and these are perfect for my color, for my eye color. And that's why I took advantage of the chance to, to get it. And it did came with a nice blush with a teeny weeny highlighter on the bottom of it. So it's really nice and handy. I mean, these things are so amazing because it's so easy to carry around with you, even in your tiniest purse. Well, not tiniest, but the smallest purse that I have is like a child would fit mm -hmm. in it, you know? I'm a mommy. I cannot afford to have a small purse. I envy those people that carry just like a pouch. But anyway, I did got the tart tartlet and the tartlet in bloom I so love this the packaging is so cute so why should I say no and the colors are so good also just like very warm tone I will have to like one day probably explore cool tones also but I love my palettes, even if sometimes some people wouldn't understand that aren't they all look the same? I'm like, no, they don't look the same. So this one is the tart Tartlet in Bloom. And they all smell like chocolate. I'm sorry, Tarte, but I felt like Too Faced started all this scented uh, makeup. So, you know, sometimes I feel like you're trying to steal their thunder but it's okay I really don't care that's your problem not mine I love this colors anyway so that's the tartlet in bloom and the next thing I have is I just I just fell in love with the packaging of this one when Gwen Stephanie Gwen Stefani um, collaborated with Urban Decay and she is such a sassy um, artist and she's fun and you know, her personality is just positivity, fun, and that's why I, even, but her colors are very, you know, it's very usable. It's not even a word, but the colors are really great. I love them because, you know, you can never go wrong. It's nice to explore. I use blue once in a while, I think. I'm not really... You know, but I'm definitely going to do a video of using a blue eyeshadow. I just felt like before, using blue eyeshadows for Asian eyes, like mine, um, kind of would make my eyes look a little smaller. But it just depends on how you blend it, how you put it on your eyes. So I will definitely get in depth on that next time. That is giving me a lot of ideas. So... I'm putting that back in there. I, it just felt like the tart was not the the most that I have, but you know. And the last thing that I have is this um, Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen. I used to not like her videos because it just felt like it's too theatrical. I'm sorry, I, but I love you. I love Graveyard Girl because she does an amazing job, especially in reviews. She'll let you feel if it's like a no-no or it's like really a great product. Something fun. So, you know, she would really express it if it's like no and if it's a go. So, when she came out with this one, the Swamp Queen, it felt so cute. But look at the colors. I thought she would come out with like all this crazy stuff. But look, look at the colors. They're so promising. Like, I can wear this every single day and come up with some nice, amazing looks. 
and the packaging it's cardboard but it's still the cutest thing ever maybe not but it is you know I always just talk that way so but I love the color so you know it was a last minute thing I was able to grab it before it was gone in the market again limited edition so I am done with my Urban Decay the first drawer next is my second drawer which consists of Too Faced stuff and I think I have to grab one of the Too Faced uh, peanut butter honey peanut butter and I can't wait to grab it and I love buying it in Ulta which I think it's only sold in Ulta because they always get you always get freebies in Ulta if you buy some certain number of amount of money so that is a better deal I like it so much because I get to share it you know whatever that is extra that is sent to me or given to me um, I get to share it with my friends and not friends or whoever you are but so we can get started the first thing that I want to get started are those mini ones and I don't think I have all of them I don't think I have all of them sad to say because sometimes you know sometimes it just feels like um, I have other better stuff to buy but to get started I first got the Too Faced cat eyes and it looks like this packaging looks like this so I love the colors um, again it's all in my you know alley because of my eye color and next is the Too Faced Country they're more pastely sometimes I just couldn't figure out what I really want from this but most of the time I have to use another palette to kind of like you know mix it in with a lot of more because they're um most of them are like shimmery but still a cute cute collection and the next thing that I have is the romantic eye which is like I'm not exactly sure why there are some of them that are in a cardboard um, boxes and some of them are in a tin foil I mean a tin can not foil um is that is there something about the formula or whatever but I just wonder I'm just wondering because a lot of them are in tin foil and then suddenly they would come up with something in a cardboard but what else um so the next thing is the romantic again they're like in a purpley you know right on my alley kind of color do you even see the colors really nice yeah but the packagings are so cute and dainty I love them the next thing is my boudoir eyes and looks like my little girl um started playing with them and this ones are more of like um, smoky look um, soft and sexy eyeshadow collection it says in here so you know soft and sexy I think that's very much self-explanatory and the next thing that I have is the matte eye so you know I I cannot say I use this a lot because obviously I haven't really used it a lot a lot but you know it's nice that I am into this kind of videos right now that makes me realize that you know what I kind of need to use some of this palettes so this is all from the name of the palette this is all matte but the colors they're a little bit something but I'll get into that and the next thing is my peanut butter and jelly palette it's just the packaging is just cute and the scent is just edible scent <laughs> but you know don't eat my makeup please and these are so cute you know I, I love purple with my eyes like what I said it, it fell but you know it's a it's a great color sometimes I run out of um, I'm just the worst in describing things and if I really get into the describing things it turns out to be really really off but the next thing that I have is the totally cute which is I felt before that I don't want to get into that because it felt like 
more for kids for you know for young teenagers that want to start with their makeup and these are too colorful but no you know what i tried it one time and it worked really well for me it just depends on how you really blend it and you know how you're going to combine all the colors so i still have it okay so done with those little stuff and yeah like what i said earlier i had to to get them out of their boxes because I just felt like I don't just want to keep them on display I also want to use them so I think this one is from the 2005 collection oh no I think it's from the 2014 Duh. correct me if I'm wrong and I love this one because it has the complete stuff not like totally complete but you know from eyeshadow I hate it when my camera turns yellow Okay, so I think I'm in a normal color now. So yeah, I do have this. I think I'm going to have to do this a little bit faster because my camera is kind of acting up because it's, behind it is like a very, very bright light. So it kind of gets overheated sometimes. And so I got that one. And I think this one is from the 2016. No, this is 2015 and the other one was 2014 if I am not mistaken because 2016 I really did not gravitate so much of their collection because I was not really too excited about them. So, but this one's, you know, I mean, the colors are just really amazing, you know, because you can never go wrong with those colors and there's no such thing as a rule of what you cannot use and what not, whatever. And this one also, it's just more of like a smoky kind of look situation with a lot of these colors, but um, it's pretty. It did, it does have a mirror in there, and it's totally gold. And I know, I know, it comes in a pouch, also a gold pouch that is somewhere in my area. So to get this a little bit faster, and I'm sure a lot of YouTubers and a lot of you have a lot of this. What is, what is is with a lot? A lot of you have this in your collection because definitely you gotta have to have this. And the next thing is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. And the Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar. And the, I've had this I think from a long time ago. I got the Sexy. Uh, palette. I'm not exactly sure if they still have this. I think they do. And these are all shimmery. Sometimes it's just really, really difficult to kind of like get into this, but I'll find a way somehow. And the next one is this Love. Love from Too Faced. And it looks like this. It did, did combine with some matte ones that you can all blend together but some of this I haven't really used so much so I'm it's nice to know that you know I have them somewhere oh it's here <laughs> and the peach palette and you know what's so um, famous about Too Faced they are the ones I'm not exactly sure correct me if I'm wrong they were the ones who started all the scented kind of um, palette that I know and this smells like peach, like straight up peach. And these are my two favorites also. This is from the uh, Vegas Nay um, collaboration with Too Faced. And this one is from Nikki Tutorials. They both have their own style of everything. This um, Vegas Nay just decided to put all eyeshadows, both matte and shimmery. And the colors are very promising and I love them so much and the next one is the Nikki Tutorials and she combined some blushes, bronzers and highlighter in one palette which is convenient and the colors are very straight up you know I mean it's it, it's very like basic but amazing because you can come up with so much stuff um, from all the colors that she have collected together plus you know you get this two beautiful blushes that um, Too Faced is very well known of 
about all the stuff and later on I'll discuss more of the blushes collection on my other videos that will come up pretty soon. So yep, I think that was the last of my Too Faced stuff for now. Um, I'm pretty sure, you know, it was not the complete collection of Too Faced. I'm not trying to collect everything from them. The only thing, the only reason I collect them is when I know, okay, when I know, um, that, you know, it's something that I really, really like, then I would go for it. You know, it doesn't mean that it has, it came out in the market and I would really go for it. No, I would like, kind of like, try to contemplate for a while and see how it is and then definitely I will go for it. So I think I'm going to cut this um, collection video for my eyeshadow palette because this is starting to be so long and definitely I'm going to be having a part two of this for my other um, three more drawers of eyeshadow palette. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will be seeing you soon. And please do not forget to subscribe before you leave this channel. And if you're new to my video, uh, my name is Jack is Choice. So do not forget to subscribe and hit that red button in the bottom of the screen. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.